Welcome everyone to part 5 of our Python basics tutorial. In this tutorial I will talk about Python math basics and how to use it as simple calculator. In every Python program you write, you will have variables, which are memory locations to store values. This means that when you create a variable, you reserve some space in memory. Based on data type of variable, the interpreter allocates memory and decides what can be stored in the reserved memory. Therefore, by assigning different data types to variables, you can store integers, decimals, or characters. Stored data in memory can be of many types. For example, a person's age can be stored as a numeric value, and his or her email or address can be stored as alphanumeric characters. Python has five standard data types that are used to define the operations possible on them and the storage method for each of them. So, these are the five uh, Python data types. Numbers, strings, lists, tuples, dictionaries. In Python, variables don't need explicit declaration. Declaration happens automatically when you assign a value to variable. The operand to the left of the uh, operand is the name of variable and the operand to the right of the equal operator is the value stored in the variable. For example, here is a short example, 100 equal to 100. 1000 equal to 1000, name equal to Tom, and surname equals to Gates. Python allows using multiple assignments. It means you can assign a single value to several variables simultaneously. For example, if we will write um, A equal to B, equal to C, equal to number, equal to 7. Here, an integer object is created within value 7, and all three variables are assigned to the same memory location. By the way, you can also assign multiple objects to multiple variables. For example, if we write A, B, C, number, equal to, for example, 7, 9, can be name, Tom, and also it it can be numeric. So, and for testing we can write a print function, for example, if we like to pr print C. We save it and build it. And you can see it's Tom. Also we can try to write number. Build it here. It's easy, isn't it? I didn't mention about Python numbers. Uh, you should already should know that number that type store numeric values. Number objects are created when you assign a value to them, as we already mentioned it, but we didn't mention it that Python supports four different numerical types. Uh, it would be integer, it's a simple number, it is long, it's similar to integer, but you should add a letter to the end of number. The third is float. It's also just a number, but it becomes a float when you add a comma to it. And more complex is with uh, complex numbers, which consist of an ordered pair of real floating point numbers. But we'll almost never use complex numbers, so we won't talk about this in this tutorial. Next, what we'll talk is Python strings. Strings in Python are identified as set of characters represented in the quotation mark. In previous tutorial, we mentioned that Python allow pairs for single or double quotes. So we wrote an example, and we we wrote a set of characters. Well, welcome to my world, and gave it to string operator. So here we'll print the string in different ways. We can build it and as you can see, in first line we printed a full string, in second we printed only the first character of the string, a third uh, we print character starting from third to eleventh, uh, at four line we print uh, starting whole string starting from ninth character, at uh, this line we multiplied our string by two, as you can see it's, it's twice as long, and in the last line we added the test word to the full string. Now we covered the basics of the variables and strings. There is more what to learn about variables. For example, we can use them locally or globally, 
but this will be covered in the future tutorial. Now, if you liked my tutorial, smash up the likes button and subscribe my channel. This will help me to grow and make new tutorials. Text version of this tutorial and links are left in the video subscription. If you have any questions, leave them in text box below. So, see you in the next tutorial.